Today I'm going to be working with this plastic table. I found it in the bullseye section of Target for $5. And we have several different tissue paper to choose from our website. I will be using the Butterfly Master Board. And here are just a few of some of my favorites that I think you could work with on this tabletop. I'm going to take my Wise Owl One Hour Enamel Clear and apply it to the top of the table. You can also use the Wise Owl Varnish. While that's still wet, I'm going to take my tissue paper and I'm going to decide on the section that I want to lay down onto the tabletop. And sometimes I like to do half and half. This just helps me be able to handle the tissue paper a little better before the one hour enamel starts to dry. Once I have it down on my tabletop, I'm going to take a piece of saran wrap and my rubber brayer and just rub it on top of the tissue paper. This will help get out any wrinkling or bubbling. And then right after that, you're going to apply a top coat of whatever medium you chose. In this case, I use the Wise Owl One Hour Enamel Clear. And then you're going to allow that to fully dry. Once everything is fully dry, I'm going to take my piece of sandpaper and going in a downward motion, I'm going to remove all the excess tissue paper from the table. And I get these sanding blocks right from the Dollar Tree. One thing I do want to point out is that my tabletop is white. When picking your table, I do recommend staying with a lighter color. The tissue paper always just shows up better with a light background. So once I have the excess tissue paper sanded off, I'm then going to take a razor blade and remove the tissue paper between the slats. And at this point, if you have any tissue paper that seems to be lifting, you want to reapply your one hour enamel clear. I got this jute right from the Dollar Tree. It was the perfect thickness for in between the slats here. So I'm just going to lay it down and cut the length of the slat that I'm adhering it into. And I'm just using some hot glue to hold that in place. Now this step is totally optional. You could really fill whatever you want in these slatted areas or you could just leave them as is. I think it really depends on the style of tissue paper you choose. I think pearls would look really pretty in this as well. And I'm just going to go up the tabletop until all the slats are filled with the jute. Next, I got this metal ribbon. You could get this now at the Dollar Tree. They have a few different styles to pick from. And you can also find it at Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby does have a bigger roll. And I'm going to wrap it around the entire tabletop. I decided to screw mine into place. The hot glue is not going to hold very well. So I have a very, very small screw that just happened to fit in between one of the designed cutouts. And this just helped me be able to even handle it a little better. And I'm going to wrap it around the entire thing. And then I will screw that end in place as well. If you cannot get a drill or you're unable to screw this, then you can also try to use some E6000 and I would hold some of these clamps. I get them a pack of four right from the Dollar Tree. I would hold the ribbon down with the clamps while the E6000 dries. And I think this just added a nice little touch to the tabletop. Now these are the legs that came with the tabletop. Before I snap them in place, I'm going to spray paint mine. You can totally leave them white as well. I'm going to be using some metallic silver Krylon shortcut spray paint. And I did spray paint both the front and back side of the legs just so regardless of what angle you were looking at the table, all of the legs were spray painted this metallic silver. And once everything was dry and ready, I snapped everything into place to attach the legs to the tabletop. And there we go. Now we just have this really cute, easy, decorative table. You could set a plant on here or use it really however you want. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Paint products, tissue paper transfers, and mesh stencils can be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials over on our webpage as well. Have a great day.